Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, we have a logarithmic equation. And to solve this equation, we must remember that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. That is, x squared is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. And to find the value of x, we must take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that x is equal to the positive square root of 3 minus 2 root 2. Positive square root because x is the base of a logarithm and hence must be greater than 0. Now, to find the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2, let us assume that there are two numbers, a and b, such that root a minus root b is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2. Now, to find a and b, what we have to do is to square both sides of this equation. When we do that, this is going to take care of this, leaving us with 3 minus 2 root 2 is equal to root a squared, of course, is equal to a. 2 times root a times root b minus 2 times root a times root b and then plus root b squared which is of course equal to b. When we simplify the right hand side we have a plus b minus 2. We can combine these two sorts to be root a times b. Now, when we compare the left-hand side to the right-hand side, obviously, we are going to see that 3 is equal to a plus b, and root 2 is equal to root a times b, and of course, 2 is equal to a times b. So, we have that a plus b must be equal to 3, and a times b must be equal to 2. Now, to solve these two equations, let us remember that whenever we have a system of equations in two unknowns, where one of the equations is a sum of the unknowns, and the other equation is a product of the unknowns, then these two equations form a quadratic equation. Why do they form a quadratic equation? We know that when we have a quadratic equation in maybe d, for instance, then that quadratic equation looks like d squared minus a plus b times d plus a multiplied by b is equal to zero. This is the general form of a quadratic equation where you can see that a plus b is the sum of the roots of that quadratic equation and ab is the product of the roots of that quadratic equation. So, to find a and b, all we have to do is to solve this quadratic equation. And of course, the roots of this quadratic equation is going to be a and b. So, what we do now is to plug 3 where we have the sum of the roots and to plug 2, where we have the product of the roots. So the quadratic equation that we need to form, or rather the quadratic equation that we need to solve to find the values of a and b is going to be d squared minus 3d plus 2 is equal to 0. And of course, we can factorize this quadratic equation. Because we know that all we have to do is to find the factors of plus 2 that add up to minus 3. And of course, they are going to be minus 2 and minus 1. Because minus 2 times minus 1 is going to give us plus 2. And minus 2 plus minus 1 is going to give us minus 3. So what we do is d minus 2 multiplied by d minus 1 is equal to 0. 
And of course, you know that when the product of two quantities is equal to zero, then one of those quantities must be equal to zero or both of them must be equal to zero. So from here, we have that D minus two is equal to zero or D minus one is equal to zero. And up. from here, we have that D is equal to two or D is equal to one. So you can see that the roots of this quadratic equation are 2 and 1. That simply means that A is equal to 2 when B is equal to 1. Or A is equal to 1 when B is equal to 2. So finally, we have two results, or rather two sets of results for A and B. We have that when a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1. And we have that when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. But the question now becomes, which one is the right answer? We go back to this question. You can see that this is positive. That is 3 minus 2 root 2 is positive. So its square root must also be positive. And for that to happen, a must be greater than b so we simply choose the one where a is greater than b so we have that the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 is going to be equal to root 2 minus root 1 of course we know that root 1 is 1 so we have that x is equal to root 2 minus 1 and that is the answer to this logarithmic equation and with that we come to the end of today's exercise i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one